See that? You want to make sure that's good and clear and open. I can feel it pulling through and I can see it running back. A homeowner brought this blower to me and said he loves it. He bought it brand new in the late 90s. He said, if you can get it running for me again for less than $100, I'd be very, very happy. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. It's actually made by Home Light. And he said the last time it ran was last fall. And he said he couldn't get it started at the end of last fall. And then he tried again this summer and he still can't get it started. I asked him, is that the original gas in there? And he said, yeah, it's just been sitting in there. So the first thing we're going to do is drain this off. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. It's so dirty. I don't like working on them that dirty, especially since I'm assuming it probably has carburetor fuel problems. And then we'll go ahead and put fresh fuel in it and see what it will do, if anything. Much better. Now I can see what I'm doing. Nice and clean, don't have to fight with the grease. Now one thing when you're cleaning something, especially spraying water, you want to keep it out of the carburetor. This is all sealed except for on the bottom and out of the exhaust. And I did my best to do that. Now let's drain the old fuel out, put some new in and see if it'll start. Doesn't look bad at all. But that ethanol, oh, he did say he runs ethanol free gas in here. So that'll make a big difference. I'm really glad that I thought of that because Otherwise, this thing could really be a mess. And there could be water from condensation in the old gas. So it's always good to drain that out. Now, he did say he had some sort of problem with the air filter. And I guess he put a screw in here to keep the cover on. Oh, 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 oh. And that's a greasy, filthy mess in there. I don't know what, what he's got going. Wow, I guess that's his whole homemade concoction. That might be a little too much having two. Might just want one of these in there. I'll go ahead and clean that up. Looks like he had to do something special here too with the... So I'll clean that all up and clean this up. And the primer bulb or purge bulb still working. A little old, but doesn't feel too stiff. Let's go ahead and see what it'll do. Choke on. Got good compression. I'll go half choke. No choke. I'm at uh, about half throttle. Oh, I thought that was just a kill button, but it's actually a switch. So I think I had it switched off. Was that a little kick? Oh, go half choke. Oh, no choke.
wants to run with the choke on, and that tells me we're not getting enough fuel. When you put the choke on, you're lessening the amount of air it gets, so the air fuel is less. It only wants to run on choke. I think that carburetor's clogged up, or I'm gonna start simple. Could be the fuel filter is clogged up, or it could be a fuel line. I don't know how old those lines are. So let's dig a little deeper. This fuel line's a little stiff, not flexible, but this line here, look at that. <laughs> I can't even move it. I think this is just the return line for the purge bulb, but still, and this is the supply line going to the filter. So I'm gonna change these out and uh, look at the filter and take the carburetor off. We'll take it over the workbench, take a closer look at it. When I break fuel lines off, you don't want to just pull them off or pry them off. Especially this is a plastic connector here. I like to grab them and twist them. There, you couldn't see or hear that, but I felt it break loose. There we go. And the bottom one, and this bottom one's got a brass connector, so. And I am gonna try to cut this one off. Oh. Well, that's hard. <laughs> hard as a rock. And now we gotta take the throttle cable off. And to take this off on this st style, you just push forward and then it pulls out. Now I'm gonna clean up that carburetor anyways, but I wanna go ahead and check the fuel filter. Maybe he's never changed that in the life of this thing too. <laughs> And the easiest way to pull it out might be through here. Well, it's not all clogged up. We'll take this over the workbench too. And actually the fuel line down here is good and up here it's just a little stiff but this one back here <laughs> it doesn't even bend that's no good at all there we go well, you can put a little filter on that and this is just the little return line when you push the prime bulb it circulates the fuel through and dumps it back in the tank and then this side obviously was the filter and that's the supply line to the carburetor. There we go. Fresh, flexible. Let's take this carburetor apart real quick. Just clean it up and then we'll put it back together. You want to be careful taking these apart. If you're not putting a gasket kit in it, you don't want to tear these. Now the diaphragm in, in this carburetor might be stiff. And then we're either have to get a rebuild kit or a different carburetor. It's actually it's good shape. Amazing. Now I like to be careful about spraying these with carb cleaner. Especially the rubber ones, it can really warp them. So I'm just going to brush this off. And we got it off. <laughs> Hard as a rock. Now here's the diaphragm. Oh, look at that. Nice and flexible. Wow. Wow. Very nice. This bulb's nice and flexible. 
No cracks in it. No sense in spending his money if I don't need to. And that's super easy to change out if he needs to. Again, you want to be a little careful around these rubber parts with the carb cleaner. This is not in bad shape at all. So I'm going to carefully take this off because we got our needle valve underneath there. Nice and clean in there. And like I said, this is in great shape. Must be that ethanol free fuel he's using. Good testament to that. Let's go ahead and take the needle out. The needle's right under there. You just take this screw out. And I like to hold this. There's a spring underneath here. When I take this off, I want to hold that so the spring doesn't shoot off and I lose it. And you got to be careful. You can strip these and then you're not getting them out. There we go. Now I want to hold this, hold the spring. There's our needle. Spring, the pin. Spring stayed in here. But that's all right there. And then I just like to spray these out. Not a lot of pressure, just gentle. And you want to be careful. Wear safety glasses. This stuff in your eyes is worse than acid from a battery. It's, it's miserable. I've done it many times. See that? That's the needle. And that comes through that filter there. You want to make sure that's good and clear and open. Now I can put my screen back in and make sure that's clean. It looks good. The lip side goes up and it just press fits in there. Just like that. All right, I think we've got everything cleaned up here. Now we can put her back together. Also, you want to check your needle. Now this is a metal tipped needle. Some are rubber tipped. Well, actually I think this is rubber tipped. If you've got a rubber tip needle, that means it's just metal down in there. Some are metal tip, and then you'll have a rubber grommet to seal it off down in there. And you just want to make sure that that's clean and that it's not damaged. Oh yeah, that's rubber, and that's in good shape. And this is the trickiest part here. Now you can see on here there's a dimple, and that dimple holds the spring in place. There's the spring hiding on me. But this goes this way, so that dimple holds that spring in place like that. So what I do, what I found is easiest, is I put this all together. That goes in that fork like that, and this pin goes through that slot, just like that. And then this spring, I showed you where it goes, right down here. And I take my two fingers, get the spring in place, and just try to pinch the spring with my fingers, like that. So it's all in place. And I set it in, push down, double check everything, and oh, I'm good. Got off to the side a little bit. Got to get that pin lined up there. Good. Double check that. We're looking good in there with the spring. And we can put the screw back in. I found that's the easiest way. I don't tighten it all the way down. I just get it in there. Now that'll hold the spring and everything in place. And I just want to make sure everything's lined up good. Spring looks good. The needle's in there. And now I can snug it down. And you don't have to go crazy on these. That's good right there. Now when you put the diaphragm back on, there's a little nub there, right in the middle. And that nub is what pushes, that little pin, 
pushes your needle open and closed. That allows little or more gas in. So you want to make sure to get that lined up right. You don't want to put that in upside down. And usually there's little guide pins to make sure that you line everything up right. And this hole here is one of the little portholes that goes in there. So it's kind of self-explanatory. But you can get it wrong. So be careful. Beautiful. And nice and flexible. You want to make sure if you pull yours off, uh, these can be stiff as a piece of cardboard. You want to make sure it's nice and flexible. Otherwise, it's not going to operate your carburetor properly. You want to get these nice and snug. You don't want any air leaks in your carburetor. All right, how about that? I'll slip my fuel line on. Beautiful. And the clamp with my giant electrician pliers. And let's go put it back on the blower. And the reassembly is just the opposite And this screw here only controls the idle speed. That's not an adjustment screw for the carburetor. There aren't any on this. Okay, we're just about ready to try it again. Prime it. I can feel it pulling through and I can see it running back. Beautiful. She's wide open. All right, help, Lord. Choke on, I'm gonna go half choke. Before, we couldn't get it to run without the choke. This is a pretty nifty little blower, especially from back in the 95 to 98, it says they were made. I like it. machine. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.